founder of online legal recruitment software InSource and opera singer, Jen Little is having a busy time expanding her client base, a quest that has been boosted by a chronic shortage of lawyers. Jen joins me now. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. Now, tell us about what's happened since you launched, and you did just launch last year. Yes, we launched InSource to law firms in New Zealand and Australia in April of 2021. We've seen an incredible uptake. We've signed up and onboarded uh, 17 of the largest 20 law firms in New Zealand to the platform. Um, we've also uh, established our Australian subsidiary. In February, we employed Courtney Reynolds. Courtney's an ex-Kiwi. Uh, she was working in the recruitment team at top tier firm Allen's in Melbourne. And Courtney will be really growing in source across Australia within the legal sector. So there's still obviously headroom in the New Zealand market. But it seems like there's a lot of opportunity in the Australian market. What are you seeing in the year ahead? In the next 12 months, Australia will be our largest growth market. Uh, but in New Zealand, uh, we are looking to bring on large in-house legal teams onto the platform. Uh, we also have a large number of law firms that employ less than 40 lawyers or 20 lawyers. So we'll be looking to bring those firms onto the platform also. And we also we always said that InSource was a a platform that was available to law firms and legal teams of any size. Yeah, but I, I mean I can see a large company where they're hiring and firing a lot, maybe not firing but they're hiring a lot, but a small firm, wouldn't they have time to do their own sort of searching and recruiting or, I, or do they have even less time to do it? I think it's even harder for the small firms, they often are very thinly resourced in terms of their business services and HR teams, they like unlike the big firms don't often have their own internal talent acquisition person, uh, so they're really reliant on um, having better visibility and better information at their fingertips. So I work for a law firm and I need a new person, How can you just walk me through the steps of how the, the platform works? Yeah, so InSource gives the power of recruitment to the law firms or the in-house legal teams. It's populated with all of the practicing New Zealand and Australian lawyers and also registered legal executives. So you've got the whole talent community, visibility of the whole talent community. It's a searchable database, so you can search on any string and quickly match the talent to the role. So it really does the list generation and research for you, enabling you to quickly source your talent directly. But you'd be doing that though if you had a job and you had CVs come in and you were trying to match the CV with the name and check the check the experience and that kind of thing. Is that what you mean? They are live applications, but InSource is all pre-populated, so you've already got the entire legal profession pre-populated with up-to-date profiles within InSource. Right. So you could headhunt using this tool? Exactly. You can contact directly straight away. Um, it's also, I think, a very powerful tool for building relationships with the future talent that you'll want to hire in the future and bringing together a talent pipeline of, of lawyers whose time frames you know for a move and you know they're interested in working for your firm and when a future vacancy does become available you can just use that talent pipeline to place directly into those roles which means that you're not having to wait for lawyers to um, um, for lawyers to respond to advertisements uh, you're not paying expensive recruitment fees and you're not burning your talent out because you're under resourced and waiting for um, that next hire have you received any blowback from the multi-billion dollar recruitment sector? I mean, you are disrupting their business. We are. We're giving the control of recruitment to the law firms. I think the recruitment sector's had the monopoly for a long time. They've been able to call uh, and set their fees with the law firms. It's sort of 18% and above, um, $10,000 per placement and, and a lot more depending on the seniority of the, uh, the lawyer. Um, this really enables the firm to take control of their recruitment to reset how they engage and if they engage with recruiters. Um, and also to keep the intelligence for themselves within their in-source system. It kind of blows my mind that an idea like this hasn't has taken this long to appear. I mean, is there any kind of precedent for this overseas or anywhere else? We do have competitors globally. Okay. Uh, and I think for the same reason as, as we've brought in source about here, you know, it's better visibility of the legal profession, of the talent composition, of the lawyer movement. And being able to have 
insights to enable better workforce planning strategies uh, and talent sourcing. Do you discern sort of patterns within the workforce and movements one way or the other from having an oversight of all that data? Absolutely. So we're just bringing through our uh, analytics product at the moment, but firms are able to very quickly um, form insights based off the data within and source about talent retention. You know, how long have their lawyers typically worked at the firm? How many lawyers have been at the firm for longer than five years? What does gender and skill diversity look like? I know many firms, uh, certainly the larger firms, tend to celebrate if they've got 30% of their partners are female. Uh, we want to bring through more of a health check analytic uh, that can enable that uh, percentage to be higher. I mean, given that you've done this with the legal profession, what would stop you developing this tech solution for other professions? We fully intend to do that. Right. So we're well advanced in our planning already in terms of what our next sectors and markets will look like. Um, I think in terms of in-source, it's scalable for any sector that has a, a professional, a public. It's scalable for any sector with a public register of professionals, Yes, right. professional members. So that would be the likes of... Real estate agents, teachers, engineers, doctors, architects, right. vets, valuers. Oh yeah, it's so very scalable. The possibilities are quite endless. Pretty endless.